Hey, what's up, guys? Legendary ghost and what lurks beneath investigation files. Uh, today, I'm actually going to bring you a little, I don't want to say, how shall I say, sneak peek of uh, some Halloween props that I do have. Um, one of them talks and moves while the other one, her eyes just flash, but yet she's supposed to talk, but not really sure. Why she don't, um, but uh, anyways, I'm actually going to show you, and there's a button on this one's hand, I'm going to turn it the other way, not really sure what she's supposed to be, but I guess she's supposed to be like a graveyard girl type, and this one here, this one I got off of uh, Amazon. At first, she was about well, ninety bucks. But I didn't feel like paying the three, making three payments of like thirty bucks. So I waited until she came down. But uh, there's a switch in the back of her. If I can get it. Or if I can find it. Right now. I'm going to go up close to her. Actually, I'm going to turn off the light. That way there. Can't really turn off my flash right now. Won't let me. I'm unable to turn my flash off. But this one here is supposed to... I don't even know what she's supposed to say, but... I bought her brand new, but I didn't like how the way she was packed. Could have been something with the uh, electrical cording. There's no button on her for me to press. But otherwise, I just press the switch in the back or flip the switch in the back and she's supposed to talk. Light back on. But anyways, this one does talk. I'm going to press her. And I'm actually going to turn off the light again. And I am going to give her a press on the hands. But, uh, yeah, those are like my, uh, two animatronics. I'm gonna turn her, turn her off right now. I mean, she is as seen, so I did like that. And, um, she's only connected by, like, a, I call it like a Christmas tree stand type thing. Only in some holes. Hands are like bony. You know, the only thing I didn't get with this one is I kind of wanted to lose a teddy bear on her. But um, fortunately, I can't do that because it's attached to her. First, I'm not sure what she was. So when she mentioned the word graveyard, I just kind of figured 
She's just a little graveyard girl. They could have actually put like more hair on her. And she looks kind of baldish. Anyways, that's two of them that I have. But this one here is actually posable. I can actually like move her arms and stuff. And here's my, uh, where I'll be doing my uh, recordings and stuff. And uh, just to show, I'm actually going to go up close. My uh, YouTube channel name. I got a few pieces of information. More will, will be added, but... This is actually the uh, background. I'll be, well, that's part of my, I call it my studio. Of course, I'm pretty sure you all know what this is. Oh, it's a leg. These are. At the uh, you know, for my cemetery type, but I haven't used these. These are the uh, dowsing rods. Sometimes a little eerie of using them in a in a cemetery because I've seen them being used and they can kind of conjure some things up. Pretty sure you all know what this is: EMF meter. Got the ghost meter. This is my, um, pretty much like a, it's like a heat sensing. It's supposed to help detect, like, if, uh, you got, like, spirits and stuff like that around you. But it also detects temperature. Other than that, this is my, uh, studio where I'll be recording, uh, I'm actually gonna show you. See if I can get them all laid out. So I'd say most of them laid out. I'll show you actually the first batch. Got this one called uh, Stay Out of the Woods, Strange Encounters, Ghost Stories, Haunted Locations, Paranormal Encounters, and Demonic Possessions. 50 Real American Ghost Stories. The most cursed places in the world and real life supernatural stories for uncertain times and it's called unexplained so those are some i'll be doing probably starting when winter comes up i'm gonna go to the second batch i'm gonna get them laid out first so these ones here are all by the same, uh, this next batch is also by the same, uh, author, all these. So I'm going to read them off all one by one. These are called True Ghost Stories, All True Ghost Stories. Real Haunted Cemeteries in the Graveyard. Uh, Real Haunted Cemeteries and Graveyards. Real Haunted Woods and Forests. Real Haunted Hospitals and Mental Asylums. Real Haunted Ships, Boats, Oceans, and Beaches. Real Haunted Roads and Highways. Real Haunted Castles and Fortresses. Real Haunted... Ouija boards, and the last one, real demonic possessions and exorcisms. 
So those I'll be, uh, after I get done this batch here, still have to continue with these ones here. I think I'm on like story 11 on the uh, paper one. Anyways, I figure I can show you what I'll be doing in the next few months once uh, winter actually kicks up and it just hit fall last month. Oh, I'm actually going to show you this. See, it's quite... I'm going to turn off the light for this. And this is called a grid light. I can actually change it. So I gotta figure out what it's used for. But uh, other than that, oh, I got this thing. If you're all wondering what that is, I actually got that on um, Amazon, and I kind of heard about it. It's called the uh, it's called the witch's ball. The uh, there's little uh, branches in here that's supposed to help trap uh, like evil spirits or. Something like that, it's supposed to help like pull them in or something. And you're supposed to stay like trapped inside there. Not not really sure if it's like, <laughs> like accurate. Other than that, last but not least, I'll show you the uh, two props again. Probably gonna be doing everything, uh, anything that's Halloween related, probably down in my basement, or should I say my studio. Can't really do it outside because it's been windy too much and uh, it's been raining a lot, especially in October. And I actually did have these two outside, but unfortunately, uh, I had to put like garbage bags over them. And this one here, uh, the garbage bag flew off of it. I had a large one on this one and I had them in the ground as much as I could, as much as I could dig them down into, but uh, they still kind of blew over so. Cleaned them all up and just put them down here because not really good to uh, leave animatronics outside, especially if they can get like wet and pretty sure they can stop working if they get like very wet. So that's why they're going to stay down here. But other than that, I'm going to probably, I'm actually going to show you what I actually did to my. Uh, Pretty sure you'll know who this is. Made a little sign. Do the same thing over here with the hand. Powdered it up. Touch a black lipstick. And that's it for that. But, um, yeah, I'm probably going to be putting all my uh, Halloween stuff down here. Probably just, I don't know, kind of dumb, kind of, you hanging out with yourself or whatnot. But, um, other than that, I know I probably say a lot of ums. That's pretty much, uh, this is my studio. I'll be doing my, that's where I, I do my recordings. You know, my scary stories. But, um, I believe that's all I had to show down here.
That's pretty. They call these. Uh, I'm actually gonna point it out. They call these uh, backdrops, kind of like this one. It's like a forest one, but it's like uh, fabric. I prefer like the fabric because they call this. Uh, so I found out they call this uh, vinyl, and I found out it's not really good to. I do have a couple of uh, vinyl things I like to put up, but three times it's failed um, outside because it keeps peeling off the uh, siding and uh, stuck actually very well what I had up last year, but I think it's because I also had uh, cloth. So best tape that I pretty much use uh, for vinyl, I use scotch tape. Duct tape kind of peels and the kind of duct tape I have said it's weatherproof, but definitely it's not weatherproof. Actually, what I actually got outside my, uh, my apartment window on the door, well, on the inside of the door, is that. It's a tapestry of that. I just cut that out from the uh, thing that it came in. But anyways, um, maybe that's it for now, and until then, I believe I will, uh, well, you'll, you will see me in my, uh, or see or hear me in my next one. Gotta go for now. Later.